On this video, I will show you how to get the IM Speed trophy or achievement. I have trimmed down this video in order to save you some time and save myself some time. And I want to get down to just explaining where you can save the most time on and give you some pointers. For those of you who don't know what this achievement is about, you basically need to beat the game within two hours. Something worth mentioning is that you do not need to beat this entire game in one sitting. You can play for a half an hour, you can quit out and you can go out, have dinner, do whatever, and then you can come back and continue. So that's a good thing. In other words, only in-game time matters. Pausing the game will pause the in-game timer, etc. With that being said, let's get started. So the first chapter inside the wall, that's a prologue. We're going to skip it because it's a very linear chapter. Same thing applies with chapter two, Dead City. To clarify what I mean by linear chapters is that you just move from point A to point B. There's not really much you can do wrong. Chapter three, the flat. This one is the same thing. You just need to solve the puzzle and then you're out. So we're skipping it. Chapter four, the slums. I will admit that there are faster ways of clearing this chapter, but for the sake of this achievement, this is more than enough. Get up on the roof and get the NPC guy to drop the paint bucket. Get the detergent, we'll need it for later. Find Zabalthazar's flat and collect his notes. Once you have Zabalthazar's notes, go for Clementine's notes. Head for the library and collect Doc's notes. Now that you have all the notes, it is time to go to Momo. Because you have all the notes, you will start the new chapter, chapter 5, Rooftops. We're also skipping this one since it's also very linear. Just do it as fast as you can. Chapter 6, The Slums, Part 2. Since you already have the detergent, go and buy the cables. When you have the cables, head to the bar and meet up with Momo. Follow Momo up to Seamus' house, get the tracker, then go and get the poncho. Go to Elliot, fix the tracker, go back to Seamus. Chapter 7, Dead End. We're skipping this one as well, it's very linear. Chapter 8, The Sewers. We're skipping this one as well, it's too linear to cover. Chapter 9, Ant Village. Just get to the top and progress to the new chapter. Chapter 8, Midtown. Just like the slums, this is also one of those parts of the game where you can save a lot of time if you do everything in a specific order. Start by heading to the apartment complex and get to Clementine. Do not speak to anyone, do not start anything, aside from going to Clementine. Once you've spoken to Clementine, follow this route. We're gonna go for the cameras. You don't need to speak to anyone, just go and break the cameras. Something I forgot to mention is that it is completely okay to die if, if it happens by the sentinels or whenever, it's okay. Don't stress out, you have plenty of time for this achievement. Once you've broken the three cameras, just grab the cassette tape and head to this bar. It's to the right, you can't miss it. You're just gonna make a run for it, you're gonna wake up the worker, and then you're gonna make a run for the clothing store to steal the jacket. There is a much faster way that speedrunners do, but I don't want to talk about it now because it might confuse you and... It's honestly overkill and you don't need to go down that route unless you're actually going for speed runs like world record stuff but we're not doing that here we're just going for the IM speed trophy and this is again this is more than enough. Now that you're in the clothing store put the cassette tape in and steal the jacket then you're gonna head for the helmet. As you're doing all of this, the worker is still walking in slow motion, so you don't honestly, you don't even need to stress this part out. Uh, get to the box and wait till the worker comes to you, and uh, then when you're inside, get the helmet, and then you make your way over to Clementine's contact. I'm not going to include the factory because that area is also linear. Once you finish the factory, go to Clementine, do the tasks, and then start heading towards the club. I'm not including Clementine's apartment or the sentinel stuff. Again, because it's very linear, uh, you, you just have to get from point A to point B. Talk to the guy by the window as usual. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head for the drink. You're not going to speak to anyone, just head for the drink by the bar. And you're going to grab it and you're going to bring it to the NPC and you're going to grab the lever. The quickest way to get the lamps down is to touch the right button and the left one. Ignore the middle button. Chapter 11, Jail. We're also going to ignore this one. It is very linear. You can do this on your own. I believe in you. Chapter 12, control room again very linear you just have to do the very few objectives my in-game time for this run was one hour and 31 minutes i got soft locked twice on the dead end chapter i believe i lost about five minutes there i died once in the sewers and i died once in the jail my point is that you are allowed to make mistakes if you followed all of my pointers and the priorities from this video, I truly believe that you will get this achievement. If you're still stuck and you need help or you have questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments.
ones. Otherwise, if you need help with my other trophies or achievements, feel free to check out my playlist, which can be found on my channel. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.